Hi, this is Dave DeCoons, WO2X. This video demonstrates how to control four relays using a simple flow in Node-RED. For this video, we're using the Key Studio four-channel relay module, which is available on Amazon for $8.99. It plugs into the GPIO pins directly on the Raspberry Pi. This video is based on having already installed the Raspberry Pi operating system in Node-RED onto a Raspberry Pi. In order to accomplish this, there are several links that are available to help you out. The first link here is a group that we created uh, in Groups I.O. called Node Red for Ham Radio. And uh, that group there, uh, if you sign up, there's a wiki page that has step-by-step -step instructions on installing the operating system and Node Red onto the Raspberry Pi. In the file section, there's sample flows uh, for various equipment and software to help you get started. The next link is NodeRed.org. NodeRed was created by IBM and open sourced, and NodeRed.org has plenty of information, documentation, and sample flows to help you learn how to use NodeRed. The third link is a YouTube channel for a user, Opto22. He has several tutorial videos that also will help in learning how to use Node-RED. And last is a, a link to a video that I did uh, that's on my YouTube channel that is a two-hour presentation on loading nodes, flows, and also dashboard customization. So between these links, uh, this should help you get up and running. Again, for this demonstration, we're going to use the Key Studio 4 channel relay module available on Amazon for $8.99. It plugs directly onto the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins. And as you can see here, it comes with the mounting hardware. Here's a picture of it installed onto the Raspberry Pi. And on the opposite side, it has the contacts screw terminals. Uh, the labels for the relays are J2, J3, J4, and J5. And those contacts are normally open, common, and normally closed for each relay. So the next step now is to open up the Node-RED editor. To do that, we open up a web browser, type in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi server, followed by colon 1880. Once that's open, on the left is our palette of nodes. And there's different types of nodes depending on the function, of, uh, depending on what they do. Network nodes, function nodes, common input nodes, output, and also dashboard nodes. In the center is our workspace where we build flows by dragging the nodes in, dropping them into the workspace, and then what we would do is we would just wire them together by just connecting from one to the next. So we need to load two nodes into this if this is a brand new installation of Node-RED. The first one is the dashboard node. So in order to load a node, we go to the three horizontal lines in the upper right, click on that, we go down to manage palette, and we're gonna click on install, and in the search, we're going to type in dashboard. Uh, we could just type in DASH dashboard, and it's a second node, node red, node dash red dash dashboard. I've already installed it on my Raspberry Pi, but you would click install. Once it's installed, you hit close. The next one we want to install is the Key Studio uh, four channel relay module. So again, we're going to go click on the three horizontal lines, click on manage palette. Click the Install tab, click Search, and it's K-E-Y-E -E Studio, S-T-U-D-I-O. So it's K-E-Y-E -E Studio. And you'll see Node Red Contrib Key Studio Relay Shield KS0212. So we're going to go ahead and install that. I've already installed it on mine. And once it's completed, if you scroll down in your palette here on the left, at the bottom, you're going to see four relay modules. Uh, these are uh, nodes that correspond to J2, J3, J4, and J5, the four relays on the Key Studio module. 
So the first thing we're going to do is drag each one of these into the workstation surface. And once those are dragged in, we need a way to control them. So for the dashboard now, under dashboard nodes, we're going to use the switch node and be able to turn the relays on and off. So I'm going to drag four of the switch nodes into the work surface. The next step is to wire these together so a switch is connected to the relay. If I put my mouse cursor over the right side of the switch module, it will turn orange. And if I hold the left mouse button down, I can drag it over to the relay module and then let go and it will connect it. So we're going to connect those four. Now, the next step is to assign the switch to a group and a tab in our dashboard. Uh, the idea of node red is that you can have controls, meters, and other functions available on your dashboard, and you can mix and match anything that you would need. If you only need three items for your amplifier, you don't have to have all of the controls on the dashboard. You can just put what you need on there to consolidate and customize the dashboard. So in order to do that, we're going to double click on the first switch module. And it says add new UI group. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the pencil to the right to create a group. And we're going to change the name to four relay module. And then it's going to ask what tab we want to put it on. Since there's no tabs created in the dashboard, we're going to click on the pencil to the right of that to add a new UI tab. And we're going to name this one Relays. And we're going to click Add, click Add again, and then we're going to click Done. Before we click Done, though, uh, we need to label the switch. Otherwise, it will all say Switch. So this is the first relay, which is J2. So I'm going to call this switch J2. I'm going to click Done. And now the next one is already assigned to the proper group. So I just have to name this J3 and click Done. The next one is J4. We click Done. And last is J5. Click Done. Now, before we deploy this, what we want to do is check the dashboard to make sure that these are in the proper order. And if you wanted, you can put these in whichever order you want. If you wanted the third relay to be first, you can move them around in the dashboard. To access the dashboard layout, you click over here in the upper right on the down arrow and select Dashboard. And you're going to see our tab is relays. The group is for relay module. And we're going to click the arrow to the left of that. And it's going to expand. And if you notice, it's J3, J4, J5, and J2. So we want to put J2 first. We left click and hold the mouse button and just drag it up to the top. Now we have it in the proper order. Now we're ready to deploy and save the changes. So we click on the deploy button in the upper right. And it deploys the project. And now in order to access the Node Red dashboard, we open up a new tab. And again, we enter the IP address of the Node Red server, followed by colon 1880 slash UI. And that's the key that's next to the shift key, the slash key next to the shift key. And that brings up the dashboard for Node Red. And as you see, we have a four relay module. And what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to expand this and bring this a little bit bigger so we can see this. And you have J2, J3, J4, and J5. And then we have four switches to the right. If I click on one of these switches, it will turn it on or turn it off. So I'm going to click on all four to turn them on. And then the first and the third, I'm just going to turn those off. For debugging, if you go back to your editor, you'll see over here, I had zoomed in, so I got to recenter it here for you. 
but you'll see that the first one is off, the second switch is on, the third switch is off, the fourth switch is on, and under the relays, the first one is false or not engaged. The second one is true, meaning that the relay is energized. The third one is false, and the fourth one is true. So that's the simple four relay control using Node Red and the Key Studio KS0212 four channel relay module.